is, you know, people love their pet dogs uh, or cats, and most treat them just like a member of their family. Let's take a look at this amazing place to bring your pet when the illness is too much for the pet to handle. Mm. But veterinary specialist in general is just uh, another veterinarian in the collaborative team effort to help make pets better. I am an internal medicine specialist, but then we also have an entire emergency critical care department, um, surgeons of course, and then there are subspecialties where we have oncologists, there's cardiologists, there's um, neurologists, and then we have kind of behind the scenes specialties. So as an internal medicine specialist, we mainly focus on sick pets. That's the main referral for our, for our cases or complicated cases. And so sometimes it's really just a collaborative effort. So we have a lot of specialists under one roof. So a lot of people that have specific areas of interest and education in that field. And so one of our best tools that we have is our morning rounds, we meet with you know, eight to 10 specialists and talk about that case, talk about its problems and so you get aspects. So sometimes it's just picking brains and trying to get that information. The most important thing is client education. All of these pets have their owners that are speaking for them. And so really education, making sure they're comfortable with their plans and really just hand-holding until we can get them to make the right decisions for their pet. Cubby was a, a great example of a collaborative effort. Uh, he um, is now an eight-month-old happy Lhasa that is doing great at home. Um, he presented in October, though, very, very sick dog. They, he was seen by an emergency room doctor, of course. They take him right away. They do all his vitals and everything. And then about mm, half hour later to 45 minutes, they came out and told us that Cubby was diagnosed with a liver shunt. His liver was not processing things right, and he was developing toxins in his bloodstream that was literally altering his mentation, and so he came in and he couldn't really walk. He was actually quite sick. They gave us our options. I called Dr. Armentano. We worked with him in the past with other animals we've had and asked his advice. Like, what would you do? Because surgery is surgery, and the chances of something happening during surgery, you know, they let us know that things could happen and he felt that we should go through with it. So, we did. We decided to take his advice because we trust him and went through with the surgery and you know, look at my baby. We're really all about quality of life. So if we can provide a quality of life for whatever, whatever time that happens to be, if it happens to be for the rest of their life and we can make them healthy, healthy dogs and have them be an old dog, fantastic. And so it's really, really rewarding to know that we can help and get him back on his feet, literally. 80. Oh! Okay, I want every one of those dogs, and how cute is Cubby? So the dog is cute. the cutest thing ever. You can find out more about how they may help your pets too at vetspecialty.com. It's hard enough when a, a person goes through an MRI, but like that dog laying down there. So sad. Um, so unbelievable sad. what they do. My dog got his teeth cleaned. I left the vet crying. <laughs> I'm, that's how I'm a mess. I'm it's, a mess. Right. I love my dog way too oh, much. Oh, that's too good. <laughs>